pokey people. Lovely to see you. See, I told you we'd be back soon. Tried to do a little shaky shaky, shake off the funk, and it's time to open this amazing Hidden Fates box. It is the Premium Powers collection that was sent to us by the always amazing Dark Squall. And I really wanted to open this before the year was over, but first, it's so huge, my little camera can't. <laughs> Look how far back I have to move. This macro lens. See, when I was talking about to-do lists, one of my things is going to have to be getting the original lens for this camera fixed so that we don't need to be so far back to be so close because this this is just silly. Honestly, it's silly. So, obviously, it's going to be very hard to open this box in front of the camera, but I'm going to do the best that I can. I'm going to take this wooly, angry-looking wrist thing off. My wrists have been getting angry at me because I've been playing too much pogo. You know, these things happen over the holidays. Um, da, 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 there's no way to do this that's not awkward. Actually, you know what? Let's just pull it behind the Nikon. You guys can still see me on the Canon, just in a tiny little corner. And hopefully, I don't... I can't even make a box cutter work right. Hopefully, I don't cut myself or, you know, do anything ridiculously dangerous back here. Oh, oh, this one's opening fairly nicely, actually. I didn't need the box cutter. Da -ka -da -ka Let's slide the big old plastic out of there. Ooh, 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 just a second. There's a poster in here. Obviously, Nikon can't handle the majesty of this, but, oh, that is very nice. Let's just do one of these and show it to the Canon. I think that's easier. Hey, Canon, what's up? Look at this amazing poster. That is so, so cool. Oh my goodness, I like, I like that a lot. My only issue with these posters, obviously, since they put them in a box, they're creased, but then it's like, I can't display it without risking damaging it. I have to find some sort of a plastic sleeve I can put it in to keep it safe, and then I could put it up on the wall somewhere, although I have limited wall space, but I will find a way to do the thing. All right, let's pop these pretties out. Ooh, I love when things are well packaged. I just realized it actually says made in the USA there, so if I start saying American, I won't be totally wrong. Haha! -ha. These just all tumbled out super nice too. Wow. All right, Nikon, do you want to cooperate with us? Let's see. So first we have the amazing gold Lunology X. Very nice. And that's just good old-fashioned Lunala. It's not a Necrozma. Very interesting. I didn't even notice that at first. Now I feel very silly. <laughs> We've got this beautiful Solgaleo too. Well, these are very nice. Uh, I don't know if you guys recall, recall, recall from the birthday video of all the things from Dark Squall. She'd actually said in her note, like, she knows I'm not a big fan of the gold cards, but Shining Rayquaza needed to be with me. And you know what? They are very nice gold cards. And yes, I need Shining Rayquaza. <laughs> so thank you very, very much, Dark Squall. <gasps> these are all so pretty. I will sleeve them up later. I still haven't bought normal perfect fit sleeves, forgive me, but I do have some hard type sleeves beside me that I can use. And of course we have the big old jumbo card, which is too big for Nikon, so it's just gonna go sit in the back. Back there. There it is. Yay! And let's pull the packs out here. Ooh, that's, that pack is stuck in there. All right, let's pull the other packs out. How many are in here? One, two, three... One, two, three, five, six, ooh, and seven, and lucky number seven is, like, glued in there. Um, like, literally, I don't know if you guys can tell, it is literally glued in there. I think that pack needs to be opened first, because that's, that's interesting. I don't know why it was like that. All right, that one wanted to be, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely gluey. Um, all right, I guess just that particular pack, they were like, we don't want this one to fall out. I mean, part of me feels like maybe we should do that one last, because it seems to be behaving oddly, but you know what? I'm a little concerned I'll forget this covered in glue and stick it onto a card by mistake. So let's just slice right into it here and see what happens. Okay, you go over there in the safe place-ish. Um, it should still be four to the front, right? Is there any crazy trick with this set? I don't think there is. We've opened a little Hidden Fates. It's just I did myself a bamboozle there. So we're starting with an electric energy. Misty's Cerulean City Gym. Are we in focus? I hope so. <laughs> Magmar. Charmeleon. Cans. Psyduck. Yeah, 
that's that's how I've been for a lot of the holiday. Star you, Clefairy, so cute. Saya Suruta's art is amazing, and I don't know if you guys follow her on um, Twitter. She actually recently was posting like her whole year of Pokemon commissions, like everything she's done for the Pokemon company. So card art, product artworks. Um, promotional things. I think she even did some of the manhole covers in Japan. It's really, really amazing. It's pretty cool to see how much she's done. And also to be like, oh, I love her artwork, but I'm relieved I didn't make a collection of her artwork because there's too much of it. We got a Bill's analysis as our reverse and a Mew! Oh, it's such a cute Mew! Why do I feel like I've never seen this before? I might not have. Like, I think I've mentioned before, I'm pretty sure some of the cards in this Hidden Fate set came from decks that I just didn't buy. Um, so it's been interesting to encounter some of these artworks and be like, I don't think I've ever seen this art before. And I probably legitimately have not seen some of this art before. So it's it's been really fun. I enjoy it. I'm not sure if these ones... Because I'm thinking back to like... Shining Legends and stuff, where it didn't matter, like, every set had, um, something in every pack kind of thing, although, obviously, this one didn't, so I don't know if the green card, white, green code, white code thing is still a deal. Whatever, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Nikon, why does the Nikon not want to focus now? Before it was the Canon, the Canon's like, hey, I'm cooperating, and I'm like, well, thanks, Canon, that's lovely, and the Nikon's like, Arr! I don't know what that noise was. Jinx! That's the noise Jinx makes. Um, Graveler. Again, again, hanging out with Articuno. Paras by Oyama. Very nice. Caterpie, looking so cute with his big eyes. Charmander, doing his thing. There's that Clefairy again. Ooh, we have a reverse water energy and an Arbok for our regular rare. I don't know why I put Mew in its own little pile on the left here. I just decided it needed to be segregated for some reason because it's just so cute. Super duper cute. Now, obviously, we still have the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box from Dark Skull to open. That will probably have to wait until the new year just because, you know, there's only so many things I should sit down and film at a time. Otherwise, I go bananas and yeah, and stuff. But we still have that to do. And, you know, I've got the amazing X and Y collection box. If you got, I can't remember the proper name of it. It's like on my shelf, just out of my view, somewhere over to add away. Um, it's the one that has all the amazing full art cards in it. And, ooh, Chansey by Sao Sao. I've been thinking about opening it because it's one of those ones I'm really torn. It's so beautiful just as it is. And Part of me wants to keep it sealed, but I'm also like, I really should open it and show off all the cards if the Nikon will cooperate with focusing on things. But I don't know. We'll see. I might I might just do it. What would you do? Would you keep it sealed? Would you open it? I mean, it was a gift sent to me to be opened. Eebwee! So cute! I think this was a promo artwork in Japan. Ooh, and a Pinsir GX. Very nice. He can... You know, we'll put him here and put the Mew over here. Pinsir is a hit. Um, yeah, what was I saying? It was obviously meant to be opened. It's a gift that Dark School sent me so that I could open it. So I feel like I should, but I'm also just like, it looks so pretty on the shelf just sitting there as it is. So I don't know. We might need to do that in the new year as well. We'll add that to the to-do list. There are, there are many, many things to do. I, like, keep saying I really want to make some videos and just take you guys with me when I'm playing Pogo. I love this far-fetched. But, um, as I said, I tried doing it on Christmas Day. It did not go well. I just went like, meow. Um, I think having the camera pointed at myself so much is just a bit much for me. So I need to get used to it. I'll just, I need to go out and play around and practice with it until... <gasps> Ooh! Shiny Altaria! We're not in focus! <laughs> Nikon! Why? Ah! You know, that's okay. Well, let's, let's grab her a hard sleeve from beside me. Just to... Uh, why can't I do this? Just so she's safe. Just so she's safe. I think I've said too before, like, when it comes to the idea of pogo videos, I know there's nothing I can really contribute in terms of news or tips or anything. So it'd be more like, you know, showing you guys around Kyoto and just kind of hanging out, really. So I gotta find out how I can film stuff like that and feel comfortable with it. Because it's very different walking around and talking to a camera in public than it is sitting at home and doing it because I'm very comfy at home obviously it's nice and cozy here I've got all my plushies I got my tea I'm just looking at this poor card here do you see that 
Oh, what happened to you? Poor little thing. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I still have packs to open online, which I think could be really, really fun. Um, there's so many too. Oh my goodness. And it's, 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 it'll be like, bup, 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 and do a whole bunch, I think. That'll be an adventure onto its own. Eewee! Ickans! Ooh! <gasps> ah! It's a golden tapu lele! <laughs> you guys! Oh my goodness. And a Jolteon hiding behind her. My history with Tapu Lele, oh my goodness. I feel like I have pulled quite a few normal Tapu Leles, but also like, I remember getting, I think it was the Hyper Rare or the Full Art from a mystery pack from Big Magic back in the day. That was crazy. I feel like I see her a lot. And as much as, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the gold cards, this pink and gold is really pretty as a combo. And you know what? I, I miss Tapu Lele. I feel like it's been a long time since I've seen her. Why can't I get this in the sleeve? What is wrong with me? <laughs> there we go. Nice and safe forever and ever. <gasps> She's so pretty. Tapu Lele. Yeah. Very happy to see her. All right, we got two packs left out of the seven that were in here. And I think we've done fairly well. We got a gold card, unexpected, and a shiny. So I'm pretty happy. I didn't even realize there were gold cards in this set. Um, obviously, I don't pay a heck of a lot of attention to what's going to be in the English sets, uh, so I, it's often a complete surprise to me. I'm just like, what's this? Wow! And it's always exciting and fun for me, because uh, I don't know what it's going to... I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just... I'm bamboozled by everything right now. Everything is a surprise. We got our neckings. We got a Psyduck. We got a Star You. Wimbod shiny. Oh, this is one amazing bog. Oh. oh my goodness, Dark Squall. You know how to pick them. Okay, let's. I'm putting those down while I grab a sleeve for Wimpod. Oh, get in there, girl. Oh, look at Wimpod. He's so cute. Oh. I really love Wimpod. I was really happy to encounter Wimpods in Pokemon Sword. I was not expecting them. Like, I tried to avoid spoilers for the game as much as possible. But when I found Wimpod, I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I made Galissapod as quickly as I could because Galissapod is amazing. Look at them burbs. They're beautiful. Three beautiful legendary borbs. Burbs, borbs, which would you consider them to be? I think they're burbs. They're pretty burbtacular, but I am not the expert on burbs. Oh no, I'm getting the tickle in the throat. We have one more pack. I don't want to pause until this pack is open. <coughs> I'm sorry. I coughed. I coughed, coughed on you. And now the camera doesn't want to focus. Maybe we do have to pause for a moment. And we're back. But still not in focus. Come on. Come on, Nikon. <laughs> I've spoken so highly of this camera. There we go. And now suddenly it's just like, bah, I don't like you. <sighs> Nikon, I love you. I'm sorry I dropped you so many times. And you know, one or two of those times weren't even my fault. Like, I almost murdered a person over this. I put my camera down on the table and the strap from the camera dangled down beside me and the dude who sat down beside me went to do the little leg cross thing and his foot just went shoop into the strap on the camera, slammed the camera onto the floor and he, I got like an I'm sorry and that was it. And I'm just like, typical, typical, of course. Yeah, sure, just hurl my camera on the ground. Thanks, not offer to pay for any repairs or anything. Thankfully, I don't think that's what broke the other lens. That was a jerk on an airline. Yay! But this poor camera, it's its taken some beatings from other people and it's not very nice. I have dropped it once or twice myself as well. I'm sorry, Nikon. I love you. It's treated me very nicely for how much it's its been through. And its it's getting up there in age. I think it's like six or seven years old now and it's still performing quite well. <laughs> And another Mew in the very back. It's a Quagsire! Oh, you can't feel sad about anything when that face is just sitting there smiling at you. Oh my goodness. Alright. 
Where's the, the opening of the sleeve? Oh, my word. This is being one heck of a box. All right, we need to put sleeves on the three promos that came with this. Are they all promos? I'm just looking at Rayquaza and I'm like, the numbers on that, that doesn't look like it's numbered the way a promo would be, does it? 177A of 168. And it's not even in focus. Of course it's not in focus. So it's not... Is it a promo? Somebody... It doesn't have the black star on it, so I guess not. But Lunala... Why do these sleeves keep appearing? Lunala and Solgaleo do have the black star promo, so I don't know. I don't know anything. I am completely clueless, cause I got a ditto for a brain. And I should do research before I film, but that wouldn't be as fun for anyone. Yeah. Holy heck. That's a lot of bling. That's a lot of bling for a box. It's a bling box. I like it. So, obviously, um, the three cards that just come with the box don't count as pulls, but they're still fantastic, so need them in the recap. We have this beautiful, shining Rayquaza, or Rekuza, if you go with the Japanese pronunciation. We've got a Solgaleo GX, that beautiful, beautiful gold card. I'm also wondering, why is it SM, SM104A? What does the A mean? Why is it A? Why isn't it just a normal numbered shiny, or not shiny, promo? You know what I mean. I can't brain. I have the dumb. We have this beautiful Lunology X. Clank Sire Shiny! Yeah. I just love his super happy face! Oh. Oh. I mean, you can't, you can't feel sad about anything with that smiling away at you. Altaria, shiny and gorgeous, just amazing. Shiny Wimpod, also just amazing. Oh, I love these cards so much. Full art, legendary Burb Trio, that is just absolutely stunning. Of course, getting the stained glass alternate art would be amazing, but I am very happy to get this. Cause I'm pretty sure I don't have this in Japanese, so having any version of the birds as full art is just amazing. And then, of course, the craziest thing we pulled is this gold Tapu Lele GX. Holy cow! That is an impressive box, I, I have to say. Um, and you have to agree with me because I'm the boss and I said so. <laughs> no, that's not nice. We we being nice today. Look look at his face. We we being nice. You can't you can't be a mean nasty person with that face looking at you. He's just so happy. <laughs> I think I might be the happiest about this card. <gasps> so cute and so I mean, of course it's Saya Saduta, of course, of course. It's her artwork every time. She's just filling the world with joy and cute Pokemon and I'm good with it. Well, we're not in focus. Oh, no, wait, yes we are. Haha. -ha. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed opening this box, and thank you again so, so much to Dark Squall for sending this. This is just amazing. I, I, you picked an absolutely fantastic box. I don't know how you do it. You seem to always pick the best boxes um, and packs and everything, and just thank you so, so much. This was a lot of fun to open and I'm it helped cheer me up a bit. Well, not a bit, a lot. <laughs> not that, you know, physical material items are the most important thing in the world, but you know, shiny pieces of paper make me smile and make me feel happy and I very, very much appreciate that and I hope it made you guys smile and feel happy too. So, um, without further ado, thank you very, very much, not just for watching this video, but for all of 2019. This will be the last video before 2020. So, oh my goodness, yo yo itoshi yo, I will see you in the new year, which might not be that far away, hopefully. As in, hopefully, I don't take like another week of no filming. But hey, we'll see what happens. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, whatever you're doing, friends, family, Pokemon, champagne, oranges, you know, you, you do you, you have fun, be safe, be happy. I wish you the best to all of you wonderful Poke people. And, well, I guess we'll see you on the other side of the decade, eh? Does that make sense? I hope so. I don't think anything I say makes sense at this point. You know what? That's okay. I can make sense in the new year. Nah. Bye-bye!